In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix shoulder snapping and pop sounds at home using no equipment. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. So if you're dealing with annoying shoulder pop click or cracking sounds, especially with movement and want a quick fix, this is a video that you're not going to want to miss. We're going to focus on getting all the soft tissue in the shoulder loosened up. Think of it getting tight and when a guitar string gets plucked, it makes a sound similar to what happens with the shoulder right here. As a side note, all of these exercises are safe, effective, and can be done at home using no equipment, but they are not geared towards getting getting rid of major injuries in the shoulder. If you have pain with that popping sound, definitely get it looked at instead by your local doctor. With that said, let's get started with it and get rid of those annoying popping and clicking sounds in the shoulder right now. So one of the biggest causes of shoulder sounds is lack of mobility. Everything is just tight and we need to get it loosened up. A very easy way to start off by increasing movement, let's focus on the shoulder blades to begin with, is to use a wall or a door. So let's go up to that door. I'm going to place my feet together. I'm going to bend the elbow at 90 degrees and put the forearms directly against that door about shoulder width apart. The movement is very simple. What I'm going to do is go up at a 45 degree angle. So if you're using a door, try to shoot for the corners right here. Let's also make sure that we have very good upright posture. Our neck looks good. Our upper back also looks good. And then we're just going to simply slide 45 degrees up as far as we're able to go. From here, what I'm going to do is a shoulder blade retraction. So I'm going to lift the elbows up off the door and I really am trying to bring them backwards, those elbows backwards. You should almost feel like the shoulder blades are trying to pinch in the back. Very good stretch also into the chest. Only go to your comfort level. Hold this one for 10 seconds. You're just going to come back, go back to that starting position, and then repeat this again. And when you do it, try to go just a little bit further back with those elbows. Really challenge yourself. Because the more that you go back, the more it's going to help strengthen and stretch all of those muscles around the shoulder blades. You want to do this five complete times. So one of my favorite ways to just loosen everything in and around the shoulder and get rid of those popping and cracking sounds is to do a reactive drop. I'm going to be using a racquetball for this. You don't have to use a racquetball. If you have a tennis ball, golf ball, if you don't have any of those, use a pill bottle or a bottle of seasoning. It all works. What I'm going to do is just start off on the side right here. I'm going to keep the elbow straight as possible during this and just simply drop the object and catch it. You just want to do this about five times. From there, I'm just going to move just a little bit forward and then do the same thing, trying to keep that arm straight as possible five times. You're just going to keep doing this until you're all the way straight. And then from there, go in just a little bit and do that same movement. If you notice that one spot's a little bit trickier, you can work on that just to help build a little bit more coordination. But this is going to help stretch the shoulder out in a very big way because it's going to go in so many different angles. From there, switch to the other side and then do the same thing with it. So for this next shoulder mobility stretch, we're going to take a popular yoga pose and modify it to target the shoulder just a little bit more. This is known as the child's pose. We're going to be starting on all fours, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath the knees for extra comfort. So let's get on all fours. What I'm going to do is just tuck the chin very slightly and then outreach the arm straight like this. I like to do this on carpet because I can really grip into it. Once we get to that position, what I'm going to do is just simply take my butt down towards my heels like this. The more that you take the butt down towards the heels, the uh, more intense the stretch is going to get. Go to your comfort level. Once you get to that good point, Hold that for about five seconds. How we're going to modify this stretch is take one arm, bend the elbow at 90 degrees, when palm side up, put that arm flush against the floor, slide it across the body as far as you're able to go. You're going to start to feel a very good stretch in between the shoulders, into the upper back and around the shoulder itself. Hold this for about five seconds. From there, I'm going to support my body weight on my lower arm right here that's on the floor. I'm going to take the other arm and go completely straight at the elbow like this. Let's rotate our upper body upwards, just like this, to the point where the hand is facing straight towards the ceiling. You're going to get a great stretch with this. So go as far as you're able to. 
The more that you go, the more it's going to help reduce a lot of soft tissue tightness, hopefully eliminating those pops and cracks. Hold this for 10 seconds. Come back, take a little bit of a breather, and then when you're ready, get back into that position with the child's pose, and then you're just going to alternate on the other side. You want to do 10 complete repetitions, five on each side. And each time you do it, try to go a little bit further to challenge yourself. So let's focus on getting rid of those shoulder popping and snapping sounds with some dynamic exercises. And these ones right here are not only going to help stretch everything, but also help strengthen it to hopefully lead to less issues in the future. The first one we can do laying flat in bed or on the floor. I'm going to take a small uh, towel right here and place it right against my forehead. So what I'm going to start off with is in the position where I'm taking my palm side up, just placing my hands at the small of my back. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to wing my elbows up towards the ceiling as far as we're able to go. Really start to feel the uh, shoulder blades in the back start to pinch. Once we hit that point, what I'm going to do next, palm side up, is take my arms like this at a 45 degree angle. Again, we're keeping those elbows up towards the ceiling to keep that pinch in between the shoulder blades at all time. The next part is a nice fluid movement. What I'm going to do is start to raise my arms up toward my head, but I'm going to rotate my elbows to the point where my arms are now 45 degrees in front of me. And I'm going to have my thumbs up towards the ceiling. You're going to feel a very good stretch when you do this. The last part, I'm just going to take my hands like this and then just simply place them behind my head and then lift the elbows up even more. This right here, try to go as far as you feel comfortable because it's going to help stretch and strengthen all of those muscles and hopefully lead to less issues of those sounds in the future. So this next set of exercise are shoulder hurdles. They're very good because they're going to help build coordination along with building strength. And we're really going to target the rotator cuffs with these. I'm going to be using two objects of equal height. I'm using soup cans. If you don't have those, use a water bottle. You can also use, again, any objects laying around the house that are of equal height. So I'm going to place the soup cans in front of me, and I'm also going to place them a little bit more than shoulder width apart. I'm going to then lay flat on the floor and make sure the chest is flat. When you do this exercise, you do not want to lift the chest up off the floor. Let's take our elbows, go straight with them, and place them on the outside of those cans so we should have kind of a Y being formed with our arms almost at a 45 degree angle. With the thumbs pointed up towards the ceiling, I'm just going to simply lift my elbows up like that and then hurdle over the cans and go into the middle. From there, I'm just going to then go on the outside like this and try to lift your hands up as far as you're able to go. Nice, slow, controlled movements, keeping the chest flat. And when you do this, you're going to feel a very good stretch and exercise into those shoulders and into the shoulder blades themselves. You want to do this for 10 to 12 complete repetitions. To make this harder, just find objects that are taller. For the second set of hurdles, we're going to use three objects. And what I'm going to do, again, lay flat. Let's take the arm that's facing away from our cans and just rest our head on our hand like this. The other arm that is facing the cans, let's go completely straight up at about 45 degrees. The palm is going to be down. With this movement, what I'm going to do is lift the elbow up over that first object, just like this. Only the arm should move and the chest should be flat against the floor. Let's clear that next object and then we're going to go with the third one. Nice, slow, coordinated movements. You're going to then go back up. And with this one, you're going to go at different angles. That's the great part about this one. It's going to help strengthen the shoulder by hitting it at different angles. Again, you want nice, low, controlled movements and try to do 10 complete repetitions. If you need to make this harder, just find taller objects. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.